What's up, Manchester? How are you guys? It's awesome to be back here. Thanks for coming out today. Who has the first question? I'd like to start with the champion, Leon Edwards. Leon, Bilal spoke a lot this week. He said he's going to torch you. He hates you. I'm curious, has any of those comments got under your skin at all? And are you taking this as personally as he apparently is? When, when has he ever tortured anybody? The guy's deluded, you know? <laughs> Keep that same energy you got Saturday. You guys are going to be real disappointed. <laughs> Boo me now. Boo me now. Saturday, my family, my people are going to be cheering. You said before coming over here that you felt you might have as many, if not more, fans than him. Are you a little bit surprised, <laughs> surprised by the reception you're getting? Bro, this is half the crowd. Saturday night, the crowd's going to be cheering when they see him bleed it. It doesn't matter. Tom, a lot of people talk about Curtis's wrestling. But do you think people are overlooking his striking ability? Yeah, Curtis is, uh, the guy's good everywhere. The guy's good everywhere, do you know what I mean? I'm not underestimating this guy. This guy's good. Tom, there's a lot of talks about your division, but can you say with confidence that you think this is the fight between the two best heavyweights in the world? This is the fight between the two best heavyweights in the world. Me and this man sitting to my left. This guy's legit. Curtis, a lot of people say Tom's the fastest heavyweight in the division. You've been in there with him, even though for a few seconds. Do you think he's as fast as they say? I agree. One of the fastest, one of the fastest heavyweights I've ever seen in the UFC heavyweight division. I agree. And Dana, one for you. You know, this is an interim heavyweight title fight. Can you confirm the plan is the winner of Tom Aspinall and Curtis Blades fights the winner of John Jones, Stipe Miocic? Absolutely. At media day, King Green said he went through the fire to get where he is, and you were basically given everything, and the UFC made you. I'm curious, what do you make of his statements? Talk shit, lad. You know what I mean? I made myself, lad. I promote myself. I win me fights. You know what I mean? I, it's hard to say that I'm a spoiled kid. You know what I mean? It's mad. Just because I put bums on seats, lad, I got a pair of shorts, and you never. Don't need to cry. Oh, party the party. Just know how it goes, the fam. Bilal, we saw the footage of the elevator incident this week. You said that Leon was scared. What made you think he was scared? And do you take anything away from that going into the fight? Yeah, if you're like a, I was like a bear in the woods. When you see a human being, you smell it. I smelled the fear in him. The same way I smelled the fear in his team, his brother, his, his coach. Where's that at? I can't even see him anymore. Dana, question for you. With not one, but two belts on the line here in the UK. In your opinion, is this the biggest night in UK MMA history? Yeah, probably. Uh, we broke the gate record here. It's you know, not a long history of, of, of gates here in the new arena, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, two, uh, the main and co-main are Brits. Yeah, it's a big deal. Uncle Dana. Yeah. Let's spice it up a little bit. Can we get a hundred G's for it? Let's We're not go. gonna do it. Can we get a hundred? Here we go. Oh. Again. Can we get a hundred? Uh, 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 Let's spice it up a little bit. Oh, that's it. Leon says yes. Let's go. Bilal, you know you've been very open with how much you hate Leon. Does it annoy you that Leon isn't really batting an eyelid in terms of? his emotions towards this fight. He, he isn't phased at all. It doesn't matter. It, what matters is Saturday night. I'm going to be battering his face. That's what's going to be battering Saturday night. So all this energy doesn't really mean anything. Keep, keep dreaming it. I want that same energy. I want you guys to give him confidence because Saturday night, your boy's going to get headshot dead. <laughs> you guys going to have to wake him up. I want you guys to be this loud Saturday night at 5 a.m. so he wakes up. Be, you're gonna be his alarm clock. Leon, do you feel it is detrimental to Bilal that he is this emotional? 100%. He's, he's too slow anyway. Now he's like angry, tense. He's, he's gonna fall into traps and get knocked I can't out. even hear you. You're whispering, bro. Yeah, Speak not, with your chest. Say it with your chest. <laughs> yeah, knock the out, bro. Yeah, you know that.
All right, we're gonna rip this stuff out of here. We're gonna do some photo ops. Manchester, it's good to see you again. Thanks for coming out today. We'll see you tomorrow.